Okay, everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Although it's technically not welcome back because this is the first episode. I am Aaron, and it has been a little while. I took a bit of a break, and I really wanted to sort of get back to the games that I really, really love, and that would be JRPGs. And so I thought that, you know, hey, I have this game, and I've had it since it came out. I played it for a little while before getting distracted by something else. I don't even remember what at this point. And I realized I had never gone back to it. I didn't even get very far into it. It might be because I kind of suck with the Nintendo Switch controller or Nintendo controllers uh, in general. But hopefully we'll be able to make it through. I will probably be horrible if I need to remember to press certain buttons because I can't seem to remember which way they go because, I mean, really, why does everybody have to use the same letters? We just need to, like, just have different letters. That's my opinion. But anyway, we're going to start this game. I don't really remember a lot of what I even played, so it is pretty much a blind playthrough. Let's get started. Uh, oh, wow. You, you only can have one? Well, that's okay, because we are going to start over. And we're going to do it on normal. Awesome. Just in case I need to change my difficulty later. And hopefully the volume will all be okay. I did a bit of testing, but it might still be a little bit messy. I don't know. Hopefully it's fine. We have... A storm is brewing. Or currently happening, anyway. Seems a bit rainy, thundery, and lightningy. Okay, can we f please, please fly in a straight line? Y'all know crazy with the aerial acrobatics and such. I also have. I never got to play the initial, or not the initial, the original Xenoblade Chronicles. I did get to borrow it from a friend for a little while, and I did play some of it towards the beginning, but again, I didn't keep it for very long, and so I don't really know all that happened, but I'm pretty sure you don't need to play that one to play this one. So, that's fine. On our approach to the vessel amongst the clouds... And then down. Hello. Like, yeah, we can't be bothered to go, like, swim all the way down there. Although, I guess it is faster to pull. Those are some nice shoes. So, you would darn well better be careful walking around elsewhere with those things. You're gonna step on somebody's foot, and it will be a horrible, painful, bloody mess. Man, you, you guys really nailed that trajectory very well. I'm impressed. Wow, don't blind people. Don't look directly at the camera, sir. Thank you. That was very nice of him. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. 
The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? A big rusty it box? It pretty solid. Excellent. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Hello. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right? Excellent. Whoa! All right, how'd that get in there? I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. That is not the question to be asking Rips. this dude right now. No worries, Gramps. Well, I'm glad you had time to run into your house I and get that. What's for lunch? Okay. Um. Please teach me the battle system again. Yay! Time to earn my lunch. Okay. Well, we we have that. Drawing the weapon is A. Okay. Let's play the target is R. Incidentally, you can also sheath your weapon if you'd rather not continue the fight, which is always nice. Holding down R and pressing B. E. Oh my god. Too many, too many things. To approach the targeted enemy, you will start smacking it. Yes. Uh, what? Oh, oh, there, there I am. Okay, it's time to take you down. Okay. Auto attacks are uh, delivered in sets of three. Excellent. Ha! Awesome. And then, okay, then there's these. Excellent. Uh huh. That's my art ready to use. Arts are special techniques. Excellent, excellent. I love that they are in distinct spots so I don't have to remember what buttons. And then they have to recharge. Because of course they do. Anchor shot! Ha! Enemy drop a potion! Uh okay. I like that that like here, give me a potion, animal. Like, seriously, I don't know where that potion came out of, but uh, I'm hoping it didn't come out of that thing's butt. Excuse me, I need that. Thank Why you. Not? Come on, Crusty Tips. See, Gumps? I'm getting better. Yeah, we can kill giant crabs. Chapter One. An entire horizon Counters. of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. Yes, but just under them is liquid. This, this is the world we call home. At All least it's rest. pretty. It has big... Story goes that when the world dragon was young, things. Everyone in Allrest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. Of course they did. That's what you call but then, paradise. One day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. He smelled. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. Well. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us. That's nice sending of him. his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now it's those got Titans to be boring. As far as like for the Titans are, are concerned. To die out. Uh, oh, the 
Anesthesia does my weary old bones much good. You like move that around, get him in good you places. You want me to move it, Gramps? Hey, there you go. No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Dude, you need to blow on that before you start just chomping into it. You're gonna burn your mouth. Baby. Or sky ocean whale. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been. They would have all left by now. Makes sense. Which also seems very cruel. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day? All villages it will be gone one be day. Today or tomorrow. But one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say, for what it's And worth. also what you narrated a little while ago, yes. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? Why don't you and go the over creator there and find out? Who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace. Well, swim no over there. Fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. I'm sorry, if I don't see what's architect stopping see you swimming over there, but okay. I wonder what he thinks. I'm going to go with he's dead. That's just my opinion. But, you know, that's what creators do. They create a bunch of stuff, and then thousands of years later, people go looking for them and find out they're dead. <sighs> All right. Back to making money. Yeah. We like that money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps. Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Aw, let the old Kids man sleep. These days. No respect, I swear. We got a bed in there, I think. Take a nap. Sleep through the night. Take a nice break. Let him sleep. You respect your grandpa. A lively town. That's weird. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Pretty Going good. Going all right. Elsa wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Uh, that's hey, not how business on. works. You know I can't do credit. Ugh, does it every time, too. And why are you surprised? 
No wallet, I'm afraid. Figures. Why are you surprised by that either? You people are all weird. Awesome. Yeah. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. See, that's what you people need to start doing. You're worried about Titans, you know, dying out. You need to start making your own land. Looks like our adventure's about to really get going. Excellent. When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see Goldmouth Return Point pop up on this screen. This is letting you know you found a landmark. You discovered a landmark, you can return incident incidentally. Incidentally? What am I saying? But skip travel. If you're defeated in battle, you'll be returned to the last landmark you visited. All Rest has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, press the arrow keys to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme. Battle controls, camp controls, and field controls. Excellent! Okay. Oh my god. We're here! Yeah, I shouldn't talk to her. Hi! Ah, Rex, you're back. Between the fee for mooring grams here and for unloading your goods, that'll be 15 gold in total. Ready to pay up now? Uh... Uh... You know what? Yes. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I'd done to... If you tried to shirk your bill. Enjoy your stay on gold, Malky, here. Yeah? Yes. Okay. First off, that's one... Actually, one thing... I remember from when the game came out, people were complaining about the voice acting for the English cast. I actually love it. I love the fact that they have accents and everything, and they're not just like all generic people. It's great. Um, and I don't also don't think that anybody's bad at their job, so I'm okay with it. Hi there. Ah, Rex, it's good to see you. Pity pity, just while and wait time, watching ships go by till cargo all loaded on board. What Rex say to meal together? Nice, tasty salmon or some such? Sorry, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Ugh, that too bad. Pity pity thought it would be nice to make happy memories before set out on long, long voyage. Ah, uh, never mind, Pity Pity. Not being melodramatic. Rex keep up doing good work with salvaging. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to go on a date with you. No offense. You're adorable. I thought that said sad chair for a second, and I was very confused. Hi there. Rex, my boy. His nopon here has just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying the central exchange is inside Goldmouth just after he enters the ship, but he just doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to the Lemoore Inn on the third floor. Is Salvager not a tour guide? Well, uh... That seems to be your problem, sir. Look ar I I'm doing that. Thank you. Oh! Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. Oh my god. Yep, that's a compass thing. That's the direction I should be heading in, which means that's not the way I'm gonna go. The digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. Very good. If Rex's destination, there'll be an arrow. It's up. Yawning. Okay. Yep, it's below or above. Environmental information, it is the daytime. With, with uh, some sort of some weather. That's my mini map. I, yeah, I, I do understand about mini maps. Thank you, game. I do appreciate it. Confident adventurers might not care. I care. I care about my mini map. And I do appreciate that they have a current objective button so that if you forget what you're doing. You can totally figure it out. So, there's a bazillion stores. Delightful. Oh. I'm derived. Have you heard anything interesting lately? There's a legendary merc of a pal. There's this legendary merc pal of mine told me about Zoquim. 
get this. He's got a huge sweet tooth. He can't say no to a Cinnapon roll. One well, Cinnapon roll would help you pumped for the next battle. It's similar to how my wife's got a serious thing for Eau de Do. Pleasant smells are conducive to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that pumps you up as well. Special foods for each person, I see. Too many stores! Like, seriously too many stores. Ridiculous. Hey, Max. Hi there. I can't get over the fact that you're providing for such for your village at such a young age, Rex. Really admirable. You'll be heading out for a bit of salvaging after this, aren't you? You'll be careful how you go. Thanks. I do appreciate. Okay, I do remember this thing. I know what this is. Out here. And I can do some salvaging, but I don't really want to do that just yet. I think I will do some other stuff, like actually sell my stuff, get some money. And then work on that. Because I think, I think I can make a little bit of money and get some stuff from that. I don't quite remember. I just remember having to remember the buttons. Which I'm terrible at doing. So, let's talk to Melolo. What? That's it? It's live, Mayor. There's still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Ardain and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. Oh boy. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort ah, of thing. Ah, I stay away from weapons. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. I have morals. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey hey! Alright, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. Yay, I don't have rent. That is the best thing I've heard all day. Okay. Um, what is my current um, what okay, wait. There, there's the button. Okay. Ah, now I can explore. Excellent. For the exploration. Oh, apparently I didn't get to explore very far. Hello, Rex. For Hello. Pune, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, no, how say? Yes, Pepe. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leftherian Archipelago, yes? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. That was my name. The chairman. For me. Yeah. Why does the chairman know my name? Excuse me. What are you waiting for? Chop chop. You go see Chairman Banner now. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I, I can figure that out. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Wife ran out on me, but apart from that, cannot complain. Poonin's hands full with menial tasks. I mean, very important work for Chairman Banner. High-powered role naturally leaves Poonin Poonin time poor, but still important to have breaky breaks sometimes. Uh, wow. Uh, your life sucks. I'm so sorry. Jeez. Uh, okay then. <gasps> There's a, an evil thing on the... Down the deck. Get hey, hey, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. In the heat of battle, everything's about location, location, location. You move around your opponent's blind spot. It's much easier for your attacks to connect. Oh man, practice, dr practice, practically drilled that into me. Must be a merc, don't you know? Go really take after that guy, don't you think? Oh, I really take after that guy. Well, actually, I guess you wouldn't know. Ha 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 ha! You weirdo. 
Okay. Hi there. Time to take you down. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I can't. Easy peasy. Yes, easy peasy. What were you doing? You were doing a bad job. That's what you guys were doing. I took care of it. It's mine. I, I got the money from it. Ha ha. Hey, aren't blades the coolest thing ever? They're all like kapow and use all those flashy weapons and they fight with the power of friendship. That's uh, pretty impressive. When I grow up, I want to be a driver too. Then I can get my own blade, and we can be a team, and it'll be the best thing ever. Yeah. Oh my god, Razzly Dazzly. Hi there. Doing good, Rex? Argentum is as amazing as dreamed. Many people, buzzy buzzy lovelies. But it's also slightly scary. Bumped into Ardanian man earlier, and he stares straight into soul. Razzly Dazzly hightail it out of there, made enough distance between to make sure they do not follow. He come in handy as reference if Rex need to escape from enemy. I really like these little dudes. They talk amazingly. Awesome. Any more little crabby boos out here? Okay. Well, if there's not, I will go back to the other side. Uh, okay. Thank you, game. Hold up a second. Before I could get, I should probably explain how to explain. I know how to control that camera. What do you take me for, game? Let's see if there's any other. Oh, there they are. Okay. Time to take you down. Bonk. Ha! You should always get all yeah. the experience you can, wherever you can get it. And if that means taking it, you know, little tiny battles where you can find them, I'm all for it. Okay. I'm gonna try this whole salvaging thing. I'm probably gonna suck at it. But I'm gonna attempt to do it. I don't have any cylinders. Okay, never mind. Anyone want to give me a cylinder? Tiwi Tiwi, not want to salvage anymore. Always feeling like useless beginner and no fun at all. Really? Don't you like it when you find something good and it makes you money? And doesn't it make you feel curious when you find mysterious treasures that nobody's seen before? I mean, sure, we have to deal with scary monsters sometimes, but I feel like the excitement makes up for it. Tiwi Tiwi thinks it's more scary than excite. Rex know the about the average mortality of salvagers per year? Uh, no, what is it? About 20 or so? It's 360 people every year. Almost same number as Nopon who die from eat poison mushroom. Maybe you should do something about the poison mushrooms first. Oh, Tiwi Tiwi went out of dangerous career. Hey then, stop eating mushrooms. Huh. Tortor trying to study history from salvage artifacts. Pretty thing interesting lately? No one really knows if salvage goods really used in the way they describe today. Good example is Giant Black's ring. Looks like ring for very giant finger, but then what happened to giant? That's pretty impressive. It piqued your imagination, nope. Everything's so interesting. Yeah, super, super interesting. Then the salvage is so cool. Lemuli wish to also do salvaging work instead of just guard job. But Lemuli suppose it's not so bad just gazing out at Cloud Sea. Okay, well, I mean, I'm glad that you can find some joy in your work. What little there is to be had. Uh, hello, Hele Hele. Past here is room of Chairman Bana. Chairman very busy, no pawn, so no entering on less important business. Temper of Chairman and Fame must be short. Do not disturb lightly. Well, I was summoned, so I'm gonna go in there. Thank you for accepting summons. I 
Banna, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. Hello. P pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, hello, lady with practically no clothes on. Me hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. Cha-ching. 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. You probably are. He seems I'll shady. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? I'm pretty sure it's a salvaging you really job. really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Eh, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? And, and put on a jacket. Please. Low glowing people. Hey, that guy's face irritates me. And that guy's just melodramatic. Why are you wearing a mask, sir? Drivers? And blades? Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. Okay. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> a child salvager. How Jean, old are you? Don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. What are you trying to say? Hi. Mm, Rex, was it? Yeah, oh, uh, yes, I hello. I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Oh. Domark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Hey, d that is rude, dude. I still don't like your smirky face. What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway... Now we know. Now we know You'll I have right some enough. reflexes. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, and by the way... You better work hard. I'm doing this in diving out a uh, gear, by the way. So, you know, I'm awesome. I have some good strength and reflexes in me. Yeah. Huh. I like your kitty. He's polite. Ma, ma, ma. Friends are such rowdy bunch. Not my friends. Here is advance. Oh. Use to buy what gear you need. Then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. Now carefully cradle this bag of money. 
Right then. There are plenty of preparations to make, but first I should probably check in with Gramps. If I just took off on some random ship without telling him, I'm sure he'd give me hell later when I came back. I'd better head down to the stairs and go back to Goldmouth Return Port. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Oh my god, all the money! Chairman Banner, explain everything? Then we'll get work to get work straight away. Can buy good equipment with money from Chairman Banner. Yeah. When friend ready, head to Goldnorth Exit Dock. We have outstanding ship ready for commandeering. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm sorry your life sucks. Okay. So... I think that's going to be it about about it this episode. Uh, I might do some shopping. We're gonna and then we're gonna go out and talk to you, Gramps. But until then, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.